The Centre for COVID Administration on Sunday reported 14 new cases in proper legal quarantine, but including two local infections over a 24-hour period. Two women were found positive in Bangkok and recognised as local transmissions, one who travelled to Chiang Rai and the other, a health officer, who worked at a Bangkok alternative state quarantine hotel. Thailand's Public Health Ministry has instructed all provincial administrations to open emergency health centres as a precautionary measure, due mainly to the irresponsibility of these Thai bar workers returning illegally from Burma. With the obvious continued traversing of the Burmese border by illegals, most reported to be working in a pleasure centre there, despite military and volunteer groups watching the borders, it's 2,500 kilometres long, and essentially an impossible task. Burma has what's been described as a rampant infection rate and concern is rising. Meanwhile, five patients have recovered and been discharged. The 1G17 so-called hotel, just a mile inside the Burmese border, employed close to 200 Thai women, popular with the locals. There, COVID has seen business plummet and many catch the virus. It's believed that some 80 or more women, described as selfish scum by some, sneaked across the border from the hotel, avoiding quarantine, which is free to ties and saves others from being in danger. And the government has stated that the full force of the law will be applied to anyone caught flaunting the quarantine laws. Many prisoners here, including those jailed for political activities, have seen sentence reduction and in some case freedom, as His Majesty the King granted amnesties to inmates nationwide to mark Father's Day and the birthday of His Majesty the late King Rama IX. 30,000 royal pardons and 200,000 sentence reductions. This is the nation celebrated the memory of the beloved king together with Father's Day. Six provinces in the south are still inundated from the impact of a northeast monsoon. Heavy rains and flash floods have seen 11 provinces affected and close to 400,000 homes damaged. Military are working to provide basics to those in need along with rescue from flooding buildings. The ban on online sales of alcohol of any kind in any manner goes into effect this week with serious consequences for those who break the law. No more order online for home delivery. Ordering on the phone from suppliers to wholesalers and licensed retailers is, we're told, not affected. Meanwhile at home, and last week's complaints by members of a so-called share group, essentially a friendly society where members save money towards a return after so many months, are unlikely to see any of their so-called investments ever again or the arrest of the woman, who's said to have headed the operation and fled with millions of baht. Why? Well, it seems that she's living the good life in Manchester in the UK. Reports indicate that the woman already had a long-term visa for the UK following several relationships with Brits and fled with the cash. Close to 600 million baht is now allocated to beach improvements in Jomtien and an Italian Thai company has been contracted to give it the same once-over that Patia Beach has seen. Promised to be completed within two years, it all started last week and we'll see sand brought in from the same sources that successfully worked on Patia's main beaches. Friday saw the grand draw of the fabulous prize giveaway here on 103 that ran all week. Twenty couples won prizes and all have been notified. Anyone who entered is best to check their line app to see if you were a winner. For the cruise, we're waiting for a date from the organisers that promises good weather. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and metres. Wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of 32, dropping down to a chilly 23. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.